The Iraq War, which lasted from 2003 to 2011, was a significant conflict that had a profound impact on the world. In this video, we will talk about some of the best war movies set in Iraq. At number 10, we have Karbala, a gripping war film set in April 2004 during a crucial episode of the Iraq War. The story unfolds in the Iraqi city of Karbala, where pilgrims are observing the Muslim holiday Ashura. However, the city becomes a battleground as it comes under relentless attacks from both Al-Qaeda and Assadra militants. The city hall and local authorities headquarters are prime targets. What makes this film stand out is that it focuses on the incredible courage of a small group of just 80 Polish and Bulgarian soldiers who must defend the city. How bad is it? Uh, as the bullet went through. At number 9, The Wall gained attention in 2017, primarily due to John Cena's prominent role in the film, alongside Aaron Taylor Johnson. They portray two American soldiers, both skilled snipers, thrust into the heart of the Iraq War. However, their mission takes a perilous turn when they become trapped by a deadly enemy sniper while overseeing pipeline construction in the desert. As the situation deteriorates, with one soldier shot and the other injured, they face a dire predicament with no means of communication or access to water. One, two, three, four, five. The rifle is an extension of me! One, two, three, five, one, two, three, five. And I strike you down! The wall unfolds as a tense and suspenseful tale of survival against all odds in the unforgiving Iraqi landscape. Redacted. Oh, it's mine! <laughs> At number 8, Redacted presents a challenging and disturbing narrative based on real events that might be difficult for some viewers to watch. The story unfolds when a group of unruly and insubordinate U.S. soldiers commit the heinous acts of rape and murder against a 15-year-old Iraqi girl. Loosely inspired by the tragic Mahmoudia killings of 2006, the film draws attention for its unflinching portrayal of the darker aspects of war and the misconduct within certain sectors of the U.S. military. Redacted serves as a stark reminder of the atrocities that can occur in the midst of conflict, shedding light on the disturbing events that took place during the Iraq War. Sand Castle I'd love to say I'm here to fight for freedom. At number 7, Sand Castle, a Netflix war movie, thrusts us into the heart of the Iraq War with a story inspired by the real-life experiences of its screenplay writer, Chris Rosner. The film revolves around Private Matt Oker, who initially joined the army to fund his college education but unexpectedly finds himself deployed to the Middle East when war breaks out. His unit's mission to repair a broken water system in a perilous region confronts them with the harsh realities of dealing with insurgent forces. Stay in this course. We'll get picked off one by one. And the one I help. Sand Castle authentically portrays the stress and uncertainty faced by young soldiers during the conflict, resonating with the experiences of many who served overseas. Mosul. I don't know what I'm going to do, I don't know what I'm going to do, I don't know what I'm going to do. At number 6 of our list is Mosul. The film is set against the backdrop of the 2016 operation to liberate Mosul, Iraq's most populous city, from the grasp of the Islamic State. The story follows a police SWAT team as they join forces to counter the ISIL militants who are relentlessly targeting their unit. Beyond the action, the film manages to convey emotions, and the Middle Eastern cast contributes to its genuine atmosphere. The Hurt Locker And my job is to keep you safe so we can keep going on missions. Combat, buddy. Go! Everybody! At number 5, we have The Hurt Locker, 
a gripping war film that plunges us into the intense world of bomb disposal in Iraq. The story centers on a bomb disposal unit tasked with defusing deadly improvised explosive devices in the midst of the Iraq war. Their high-stakes missions are a nerve-wracking test of skill, bravery, and survival. The film vividly captures the tension and psychological toll of this perilous work. Immersing viewers in the harrowing experiences of soldiers who risk their lives to protect others. However, it's worth noting that while the movie is acclaimed, it has faced criticism for its accuracy, with some critics and fans pointing out inaccuracies. Green Zone You're my prisoner. I'm bringing you in. At number 4, we have Green Zone, a movie that hits on the controversial matter of weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. The film begins when a group of U.S. Army soldiers is led by the adamant officer Roy Miller. He comes across the notion that things may not be as simple as they seem. What do you think you're doing here, Miller? You're off reservation for a reason. What is it? I came here to find weapons and save lives. That's when Miller begins to wonder whether the said WMDs even exist and if there's legitimacy to the U.S. invasion at all. Battle for Haditha At number 3, Battle for Haditha takes us into the heart of the Iraq War, with its intense and realistic portrayal of the conflict. Directed by Nick Broomfield, known for his documentary work, this film brings a factually grounded approach to fiction. It features real-life Iraq War participants, including ex-Marine Elliot Truiz in a pivotal role, lending authenticity to the character of Corporal Ramirez. The movie's use of improvised scenes adds to its genuine feel, immersing viewers in the challenges and dangers of a deployment. These two houses right here, you know what that feels like? To run into a house, when you look down, you're covered in blood and brain. And through this documentary style lens, the film underscores a critical theme, the accountability of military leadership for soldiers' actions, prompting essential reflections on the consequences of American involvement in Iraq. American Sniper. Confirm. Negative. Your call. They fry you if you're wrong. At number two, we have American Sniper, directed by Clint Eastwood, revolves around the life of Chris Kyle, who earned the title of the deadliest sniper in U.S. military history, with 255 kills during his four deployments to the Iraq War. From his humble beginnings as a Texas rodeo cowboy to his relentless service in the Iraq War, we witness the harrowing experiences that shaped Chris's life. Amidst the chaos of battle, he finds support in his comrades and the challenges of war become increasingly evident. However, as Chris's heroic deeds on the battlefield make him a target, the toll of war on his mental and emotional well-being becomes increasingly evident. American Sniper combines intense combat sequences with a deeply emotional exploration of love, sacrifice, and the devastating impact of war. Generation Kill When we play, we, not the enemy, are going to dictate the tempo. All right, let's make some money. At number 01 on our list is Generation Kill, a celebrated military series known for its exceptional attention to detail and accurate portrayal of modern warfare. Few other shows have been able to capture the realism and authenticity achieved by Generation Kill. The characters, their appearance, mannerisms, and dialogue reflect the lives of real-life Marines, showcasing the dedication and intelligence of the production team, alongside its undeniable authenticity. <sighs> Hey, buddy. The series follows a gripping narrative based on a true story, airing during a time when the war in Iraq, which it depicted, was still ongoing and relevant to American culture. Generation Kill remains a powerful and thought-provoking exploration of the realities of war. That's it, guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.